the footer on a Squarespace website and in general on websites is really, really important. It's going to be when, you know, when the user gets to the bottom of a page and they want to navigate to the next page or, you know, they're looking to find information. How are we going to convey that to them? How are we going to guide them to where they need to go in a useful manner? And this is where so many web designers and people who are doing their own website, they get the footer completely wrong. Now, I'm not saying I am the king of footers, but I know how to set up a basic, decent one that basically applies to 99% of websites. So I'm going to show you how to set up a basic foundation to make sure that you're not making any mistakes and that you can build on if you wish. Welcome to the starter kit. So the starter kit is something that I use on all of my builds. And basically it just has like preloaded code and just some preloaded things like um, like the folder arrow, for instance, or a blog loaded or a contact page loaded. But one of the other things that we have is this footer. Uh, let me just move myself, there we go, okay. so. I use this footer as a, at least as a starting point on all of my builds. And this is because it's just the simplest and most effective way to structure a footer. So I always have a little bit about the company here. So like exactly what they do. If they want their logo here, they can. Quick links. So usually this is home, about, blog, contact, resources. This can be like services, um, a tools page, resources page. Maybe they're one and the same, but things that are useful basically like useful links then connect so you could move contact there if you wanted but usually it's an email a phone number possibly and then social media and then in the bottom we have a, a sub footer which is the company's copyright privacy policy terms and conditions if they have it and then i always have my signature preloaded at the bottom just in case anyone is wondering you know oh i like this site who built it there I am. Also, it's valuable for SEO to have all these backlinks on all the sites that I build. And then if someone was to click that, it would open up in a new tab. My own website, looking a lot younger there. Um, and then yeah, they can scroll through my site. So that's why I do that. And it just makes it easy having all that preloaded. Now, what I wanna show you is how to actually go about building this. So if we hop back over, I'll show you how. Let's get into it. And we go into edit, we're going to want to go into the footer. And you can see these are classic editor sections. They're going to have upgrade as a CTA, which would basically take us to fluid engine. So if I click upgrade, it goes like this. And it's just, it's ever so slightly different. And I don't like that. So let me go back. There we go. Much better. So you can see it's comprised of text block, spacer block, text, 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 social media block. So to do this, we're gonna add a section and we're just gonna start with a blank section uh, that's a classic editor section. So we've got our text block, it always starts with a text block and then we're gonna add a spacer block in and then we're gonna add three more text blocks to the side of that. So text block, pop another text block and then one more text block. So that's it, now we need to do the resizing. So first off, I'm gonna start from the right and then make my way to the left. If we drag this, actually, I think that one was in the right position anyway. So I'll tell a lie, we'll drag this one. Drag it across one, drag this across two, and then we wanna drag the spacer block until we can't drag it anymore. Then we'll grab the text. So I just put filler text, some lot of ipsum, pop that in, and I make this a H4. Make sure it's formatted correctly, lovely jubbly. Then we'll add the quick links, so the quick links are always hyperlinked as well. And a small tip that I often give people is don't just press enter. So if we have our links here and I press enter, it gives us this really big gap. So what I do is I hold shift and then enter. And they, that gives us a really nice spacing between the links. Then all you have to do is highlight the link, click the link icon, and you can add your links here. So if you do a forward slash, that's gonna take you to internal pages like this. I'll show you now. And that's just a quick way to add those. And if you wanna do external links, so let me grab the resources. If you wanna do those to an external link, you can just type, you know, google.com, make sure it opens in a new window. 
apply lovely and then it looks like when i move the spacer block over this got moved over one so i'm just going to pull that back once and then i'm going to add email and connect in and then under here i'm just going to pop our social media so plus social links and then i'm going to align that to the left there we go and we just want to make the section small in height because it doesn't need to be this big expansive thing then we want to build our sub footer so we add another section and we're just going to add a blank section again and we're going to make this height 10 so as small as it can go basically and we want to differentiate this with a different color so colors we could go gray we could go light gray it doesn't really matter i just tend to use black obviously the client will have their color palette as well so you know take it with a pinch of salt then we want to grab our text from here pop that in and we want to make this a smaller font so p3 does the job and then across the way we want to grab this text block and pop it on this side and then we'll grab your signature and then right align this and what we want to do just to get these um just to get these spaced the way we want i just add two spaces either side and then a line in the middle and again another two spaces so nothing nothing crazy nothing complicated and there you can see we've got a super simple footer if we go on mobile you can see it stacks nicely as well you, it just looks it just looks professional even here now what you'll notice is that even though the text was right aligned on desktop it's now left aligned on mobile and that's because i've added a little bit of code so if we exit don't need to save the changes because I've already got the footer. Basically, we want to go into website, website tools, custom CSS, and we go down to here. So this is my footer code. This is what I use on all my sites, all of this. And what this what this first one does is it just removes the default link. So I don't like the underlines in, in the footer. I don't know why it's personal preference, but if we delete this, you can see everything gets this line and it just looks a little bit messy. So that's why I use that. Then we have the hover effect. So basically this just puts an underline when we hover, which makes it clear to the user that you're hovering over a link. If we take that out, then you know it's not interactive. It doesn't make much sense. So that's why I use that. And then we have the mobile optimization. So if I get the mobile view up, all looks great. But if I take this out, that's gonna align to the right and it's gonna annoy me. So that's why I do that. Basically, you want everything aligned the same way. It doesn't matter which way it is. Just make sure it's all aligned, you know, one way or the other. And then you want some form of link hover effect if that's your personal preference. But anyway, that is how I've been setting up my footers for probably the past couple of years. No complaints from clients. And it's just an effective way to build something that a lot of people get stuck on. So if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.